Hi guys, I'm Chloe and I'm probably best well known for being a professional dancer on Strictly Come Dancing. I'm really excited to be teaming up with the Academy of Performing Arts and bringing you all this awesome audition challenge. Now we've all dreamt of taking that giant leap into the performing arts world, but your audition technique is very, very important to making those dreams come true. So listen up because myself and your TAF PA teachers have some invaluable top tips for you all. And pay attention for all the details you are going to need. Not only are you all gonna benefit from this challenge, but there are some very exciting opportunities for those performers who excel. And remember, you have everything to gain and absolutely nothing to lose. So let's get started. Hello, these are Miss Abby's top tips for your audition. Tip number one, always look presentable. You need to go into that audition room looking like you are ready to perform. So that means lovely slick hair, whether that's up or down, whichever suits you best, and a nice full face of makeup so you're stage ready whenever they need you. For clothes, I'd suggest a bright, colourful crop top or leggings to help you stand out from the crowds. I also like to wear these glittery earrings. They're my lucky charm and they just add an extra sparkle. Tip number two. Don't feel pressured into being someone else. When you get to the audition, it can be quite daunting seeing the hundreds of people that are there for the same reason you are. And it's only natural to start comparing yourself to them but don't do it. And when you're in the audition, if someone does a backflip and you can't do a backflip, don't do a backflip. The audition panel might not be even looking for people that can trick. So just do what you can do and show them why they need you. Tip number three, always be on time. Punctuality is key. The audition is not gonna wait for you. As I was told by my teachers, early is on time, on time is late and late is unacceptable. Hopefully my top tips can help you to nail your audition and at the end of the day, just have fun. This is what you love to do, so just enjoy it. You always want to think outside the box for your songs, your dances and your monologues. Thinking of a song that's not too well known, not too overdone, because let's face it, there are thousands of auditionees every year for every school and you don't want to be singing the same song as the previous five boys or girls before you, yeah? So pick a song that's not too well known, but equally that the audience, well not the audience, the panel can connect with. Because if you pick something that they even they don't know that's too obscure, they're not going to be able to connect with it and they're just going to be thinking for your entire audition what's this song about where she, he or she going with it that kind of thing okay and you don't want that anything taken away from your audition because you've paid a lot of money and it's your five minutes to show what you can do you want to ask questions in your dance audition okay think of one or two questions that you could ask whether it's um, could you just re uh, remind me of what leg this comes on um, is it a single or a double pirouette that kind of thing okay quick little trick that I like to use I will always ask questions about a part of the dance that I know because judging panels will often have a look at you when you're performing the dance to see if you've picked up the correction they've specifically given you okay so if I ask a question about a part of the dance that I know I know they're gonna look at me at that part and I'm gonna nail it yeah and that's always what you want you always want to nail it when they're looking at you yeah Just treat your audition like you're in a normal class um, that's all they are uh, apart from your solos um, the classes are just like normal classes you're there to learn um, the panel only want to help you they do not want to see you fail so treat it like a class you'll be more relaxed and the panel might be able to connect with you more and you might come across to be more confident which is everything that they want they want a confident person who's relaxed willing to work hard and is there to have a good time yeah First of all, you really want to make sure you perform within your audition. Now I know that sounds strange, you are performers, but even in a technique class as part of an audition, or maybe you're in a group audition and learning part of a song, even though you're focusing on technique at that point, you want to show that you can perform that. You want to show accuracy in what you're learning and proficiency, but you also want to show passion, okay? The fact that you enjoy um, your dance or your singing or your drama, the fact that you can perform at 
any time and making sure you give everything a big smile. You might even want to add a little bit of character if you've been given some background content to the audition or if you know what character you're auditioning for, then totally perform that. Think about that just as much as the routine that you are doing, the movement to the routine you are doing. Number two, making sure no matter what happens that you carry on. This is really, really important in order to show resilience, okay? So making sure that no matter how hard things get, that we can carry on. I know you guys are more than capable of throwing some improv into a monologue if you needed to, or maybe just staying in character, even if you forgot a little bit of a song. So you have a little bit of a break and you carry it back up. They will be more than happy to see that you have carried on rather than stopping in the middle of an audition. So just have a think about that. Don't panic and don't show the panic on your face. Just smile and carry on. Okay, last but not least, tip number three making sure you research. Now, it's great that you are prepared in terms of your songs, your dances and your monologues, but you also really want to make sure that you research the company that you are working for or the show that you want to be in or the role that you want to audition for. Have that background knowledge that can help you make decisions going forward. Normally with an audition, there's an audition criteria. Research that, what do they want from you? What songs do they want you to take? What monologues do they want you to take? Is there a particular style of dance they want to see? Then you know that you can go into the audition and tick off all the boxes that they are looking for. Hi guys, so here are my top three audition tips. So the first one is being prepared, turning up to the audition with the correct uniform, the correct shoes, the correct things that you'll need for throughout the day, knowing exactly where you're going to, um, venue wise for when you get there so you're not turning up late being prompt that sort of thing tip two is all about knowing the choreography so pick it up as quick as you can retain that information and look at detail that the choreographer is giving you because the quicker you pick it up the quicker you can then relax and enjoy the process and my third tip is when you get to your audition do start to warm yourself up because a choreographer might not always do that for you. And that doesn't mean going into the most elaborate stretch or trick you can do just to show off to the other candidates in the audition with you. It means gently warming your body up in a professional way because at the end of the day, you're not just representing you as a person, but you're also representing where you've been trained and the teachers that have trained you. So it's really important to act professional and astute throughout the day. Hi guys! So, for acting tips when you're in an audition, it's super important to be confident, smiley, warm and friendly to the person who's auditioning you, but also making sure that when you go into the room that you're grounded and focused. I was told when I went into an audition uh, to make sure that you were able to stand on one foot before you went in because it meant you were focused. One of the key things to remember when you're doing an acting audition is to when you go into the room and when you start your monologue, to stay in character the whole time during that monologue. And a really good thing to do is to imagine the surroundings, wherever you are, whether it's a black box, a white room, are what your character is seeing. If it's in a living room, imagine the living room. Where's the sofa? So just before you start your monologue, take a moment to ground yourself in that character and look around the room and think, okay, there's the mirror that I'm imagining, there's the sofa that I'm imagining. That makes your performance more believable. I can always tell behind the eyes of an actor if they're imagining it rather than just pretending. Good luck. Okay, my audition tips. Number one, an audition is as much an opportunity for a prospective employer or school to work out if you are right for them as much as it is for you to work out if they are right for you. So really use it as an opportunity to get to know the environment, get to know the people and figure out if it's somewhere you feel you could make a positive contribution and somewhere you know that you would be happy. My second tip is be prepared for and totally okay with rejection. It's part of the process and it's nothing personal. As a performer, you will likely receive more rejections than you will acceptances. 
and that's perfectly fine. It's the way of the performing arts world. It's super competitive, but every audition you go to is an amazing experience. So take it for what it is, and you've never ever lost out on anything. You've only ever gained. My third tip is be your very best self, not only as a performer, but as a human being. Be fabulous. Be your best performing self, but crucially, be kind and make sure that you always treat everybody as you would hope to be treated, even if they're perhaps not so friendly, because you can walk away holding your head up high then and you never know who is who in an audition and whether the person you just happen to bump into in the corridor could be the, the main producer or director. So be kind to everybody. Say thank you, be pleasant, show that you are a responsible and mature individual that they will want to work with because it doesn't matter if you are the most talented performer on the planet. If you're not a great person, they won't be able to work with you. So be your very best self in every respect and always be kind. Right, so tips dispensed. We're now ready to set the challenge. I hope you're ready. Our challenge to you, dancers, actors and singers, is to enter our audition Zoom on Thursday, the 4th of June, from 4 p.m. We want you to create a one minute solo. Dancers, singers, actors, it's a one minute monologue. So dancers, you can choose any style and singers and actors similarly, any style. Um, and then you're gonna practice that to make it as perfect as you can. And then on the 4th of June, you're gonna enter the audition Zoom and present your performance to our expert panel, who will then assess your performance and give you personal feedback on how you did. We hope that this experience will give you the opportunity to enjoy creating something that you love. We hope it will help you to develop not only your performance and technical skills as a performer, but crucially, of course, your audition technique and if you've never done an audition before we hope it will be a really friendly introduction to the audition process um, and we also really are really very excited to announce a very important bit of news and some very special opportunities and those of you that do a great job during the audition challenge will get to take advantage of those opportunities. And so you really have got nothing to lose and everything to gain. If you wanna get involved, send an email to hello at tafba.dance and we will reply with an application form and everything else you need to know. And then it's just a case of getting your application form into us and getting your solo or your monologue started, getting it ready, and we'll see you in the audition Zoom. Best of luck, everybody.